Hello and welcome to So You Want a Crypto. Today it's a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. It's snowing and it's cold. But you know it's not cold in solar. We're up to 935 ranking on coin gecko. Market cap over 2 million now. So that's basically a 10x maybe this month because we were looking in the 200, 300 thousand dollar market cap not just very long ago and 24 hour trading volume almost four million what three and three quarter million we're still listed with a billion coins so yeah what's the deal let's take a price look here on qcoin yeah we thought there'd be a little bit in once that uh 0 0.0160 range a lot of buying and selling and we can see that over here let's go look at our sell orders 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 1 million, when, you know, there's a lot of people trying to sell. And that makes sense right now. You got a lot of people buying and you got a lot of people selling. So people got in early, you know, bought a million coins at half of nothing. And now this thing has jumped way up. So they're selling. That makes sense. It's smart. And then people see the potential. So they're buying. So we're going to see a lot of volume. That's good. Right. Money flowing in, money flowing out. Let's look here. We've got in solar 82,000 transactions, 80,000 accounts, and they're running 11 nodes. Still, yeah, 1 billion, 3.5 million volume. So, what is in solar and why do people think it's neat? Well, basically, they're built for scalability. So, when Ethereum starts to you know, top off and get all crazy and people use it, fees go out, just get outrageous and they almost go parabolic. So what happens is in solar wants to remain scalable both vertically and horizontally. So they separate their architecture into these four layers, your business applications, business services and templates, your domains and your clouds, and then they have your nodes and your network below. And it's, see, we were at 11 nodes, nothing to really see on GitHub. All right, so here we go. In solar mean that runs the most scalable public blockchain. One million transactions plus per second. That's fast, right? Ethereum, 20, Neo, 1,000. VeChain, 10,000, and even that's fast. And I'm not sure what Visa is, but it's somewhere between VeChain and where in solar wants to go. I don't remember, it's like 26,000, maybe higher. Don't quote me. Okay, so here's fees. This is what we're talking about. So Ethereum, as your network transactions increase, so does the total cost. So your fees, you can see, start to curve up, right? InSolar expands their network horizontally and vertically so that it stays linear. So InSolar's cost advantage is the fact that it tries to keep costs linear instead of letting them kind of get out of control, right? Insular. This is an older article. They've been working with some different things, and I've seen some questions about do they have projects? Do they have partners? What do they, who do they know? You got any friends out there? So, announces Microsoft, Oracle, and Inno Suisse collaborations. I had, this was back in October. Uh, you look on the Insular XNS. I'll put all this in the bottom too, by the way. We're looking at or you know Oracle Chainlink. So they're talking to some big names. So how big can this coin go? If we go back here and we get on Qcoin, you know, we see if we go to like the let's go 12 hours. That here we are way down here barely even a blip and we see this huge wall but can we really get back there i mean what are we looking at so it depends on what our goal is and that's important you need to figure out and have a plan so let's just make a plan ready let's say that we want to see we we think x and s is going to make it to coinbase just hypothetical and it'll kind of give us an idea what to run for right so what would it take market cap wise maybe for coinbase to get there right let's see so let's go to the very lowest coin 
and we're looking 70 million in market cap on the lowest coin. You're looking at Orchid at 100, Numerit 100. So this is where we're looking at 100, Band, Oracle, 200. So let's say maybe they'll take us really early 10 million. So here we are. Let's go do it on here then. This would be easier. In solar. Current market cap 1.6. So if we 10x, then it would be worth about 16 cents and we would have a market cap of 16 million. That seems reasonable, and that's below anything close to whatever Coinbase has. If you want to get to like the lower third of Coinbase, we would have to say that we would be at 160 million market cap. That's 100x from here. That would put us at $1.60 on InSolar, and that would barely keep us on the lower end of what Coin cap, or Coinbase would offer. Not that that's going to happen, but it gives you some perspective on how these things can shift and not shift, right? Uh, when we go and we get these announcements of the $500 million cut, once there's not a billion coins and we're at 500 million, scarcity kicks in, there'll be less of them. The price should go up there too. So do I think that this could make it to $1.60? Sure. It, if it gets enough adoption, it's it's trying to solve a real world problem, lowering fees, keeping the fees linear, keeping them under control and making a platform that's scalable to a lot more transactions per second. So there's utility and there's value here. And that's where the money comes from. People using it, people buying it and seeing its potential. I, I think it's got a dollar in its future. I really do. I don't know when, but you need to figure out along that way what's your exit point you know where are you going to take your profits are you going to take a little here you're going to take a little there because you don't want to get to the end of this and all of a sudden something happened and this thing come crashing down in an elevator and 80 percent of its value is gone that could happen tomorrow these things happen so the next coin that i want to talk about and this is like a quick little bonus one we'll go right over here prices is road this one has a lot of utility this is right about where xns was 300,000 market cap or 300 yeah 300,000 market cap 364,000 in volume it i'm not going to go real deep i have another video that kind of talks about it and if there's more interest i'll explain more later but they work with 5g network to work with your cars and manufacturers and track automobile data for insurance and for optimization for it, it, there's a ton of this has a lot of real world potential there's 79 million so if you're looking right here this could easily hit three or four cents at a 10x no problem and if it gets adopted by maybe a couple auto manufacturers it's in china right now i'm not sure i'm still doing some research on who the auto manufacturers are what their volumes are and stuff like that once I get to that, I'll give you more information. This was just one I kind of stumbled on that seemed like it was nice and shiny. I, I think that this is a good consideration. All right. Other than that, I would say if you like this information, it does help. I know it's cliche. Click the like button, subscribe, comment. But that's the rules from YouTube. That's what you got to do. You know, if we want to get information to other people and I want to get information from you, we got to talk. And that's what this is for, is a discussion. I do research on coins all the time for my own self, so I might as well share what I do with you. And then if you want to share with me, that's good too. As always, enjoy your day and cheers.